Good evening from the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, where flight controllers not only here, but a half a world away at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow in the town of Korolyov are in the final stages of supporting the approach and docking the first time ever in space station history that a docking of a progress resupply vehicle has occurred in just two orbits following its launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. This is a view from the Progress vehicle, the 70 Progress vehicle that launched three hours and nine minutes ago from Baikonur atop a Soyuz 2.1A booster. We'll talk more about the launch uh, and recap that in just a moment. The Progress is closing in now just about three and a half kilometers away from its destination, which is the Piers docking compartment, the docking port on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Docking is scheduled about 37 minutes from now uh, before that takes place, when the uh, progress uh, moves a bit closer into the vicinity of the International Space Station, it will conduct an automated fly around of about 110 degrees to precisely align its forward docking probe with the pier's docking compartment. It will put the brakes on for a short period of station keeping to allow Russian flight controllers in Korolyov to assess the alignment of that docking probe with the pier's docking port before the automated command is issued uh, to resume a final approach for contact and capture. The docking is scheduled at 8.39 p.m. Central Time, 9.39 p.m. Eastern Time, although there is no rule that says it couldn't occur earlier if Russian flight controllers are satisfied with what they're seeing. The progress has been rock solid in its performance ever since its launch uh, just over three hours ago. Everything has uh, been uh, progressing right on the money uh, with no issues reported. All of the major rendezvous burns uh, for the progress have occurred as planned. This is a view of the Russian flight control room in Korolyov from a balcony camera. Here in uh, Mission Control in Houston, the uh, Orbit 3 team of flight controllers is on console. Uh, they have been uh, watching over all of the activities associated uh, with the Progress's uh, launch and its approach for docking that is coming up a short time from now. Flight Director Mary Lawrence is in charge of uh, the flight control team here in Houston. A short time ago, she uh, took a poll of her flight controllers and uh, received uh, a go from all of the uh, positions uh, for station systems to support the uh, forthcoming approach approach and docking of the progress. Also on console at this hour is visiting vehicle officer Tom Erkenswick, who has been a, he is a, a prime Russian specialist in all of Russian vehicle operations. He has been uh, on console uh, from the very beginning of the planning for this two orbit rendezvous, which is a first in space station history uh, for the International Space Station uh, to uh, provide an expedited uh, test capability to see how uh, Russian vehicles can uh, get to the station in the fastest period of time for future uh, cargo and crew launches to the international outpost. The progress is carrying 1,168 pounds of propellant, 114 pounds of oxygen and air, 926 pounds of water, and 3,450 pounds of dry cargo for a total of just over 5,600 pounds of supplies, uh, just a shy uh, of three full tons of cargo that will be delivered to the Expedition 56 crew on board the International Space Station a short time from now. Mr. Brown 1, go ahead. Two kilometers, six decimal seven meters per second, range rate, copy. Three hours and 13 minutes ago in the Central Asian desert uh, at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, the Soyuz 2.1A booster completed a flawless countdown with uh, its liftoff from Site 31 at the Cosmodrome. The engines lit up, uh, uh, turbo pumps uh, came up to flight speed, and liftoff occurred right on time at uh, 4.51 and 34 seconds p.m. Central Time, 3.51 and 34 seconds a.m. Baikonur time on uh, Tuesday morning in, at the uh, spaceport uh, in the Central Asian desert. 
the uh, Soyuz climbed out to the northeast from the Baikonur Cosmodrome's launch site, uh, and uh, less than 10 minutes later, uh, it reached uh, its preliminary orbit, uh, separating from the third stage of the Soyuz booster. Moments later, the appendages, the solar arrays, and navigational antennas all deployed as planned, and the uh, progress uh, began its uh, short trek to the International Space Station. At the time of launch, the station was flying uh, just to the southwest of uh, the Baikonur Cosmodrome over northern Uzbekistan, uh, about 370 statute miles behind uh, the progress at liftoff. Uh, during the progress's climb to orbit, the station leapfrogged over uh, the progress, and at the time of third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation, eight minutes, 45 seconds uh, after launch, uh, the progress was about a thousand miles uh, behind the station and again uh, began its uh, inexorable trek uh, for this two orbit rendezvous, a novel two orbit rendezvous that will uh, further uh, prove the capability of expedited uh, launches and uh, dockings of both cargo and crew to the International Space Station. We're now just over one kilometer uh, separating the uh, progress from the International Space Station, closing at a rate of 3.8 meters per second. And there's a view from the progress's television camera showing the International Space Station. You can see in the lower left-hand corner the two values, the uh, distance between the progress and the station, 1.1 kilometers, and the closure rate uh, underneath that of uh, 3.8 meters per second. At the time of contact and capture, uh, coming up a short time from now, at the time that the forward docking probe comes into contact with the pier's docking compartment, the progress will have slowed to a glacial one-tenth of a meter per second uh, to enable uh, the relative motion between the two vehicles to dampen out. That forward docking probe will retract uh, to basically pull in uh, the station to a hard mate uh, between the two docking interfaces, and that uh, will then set the stage for the progress hooks to close at the docking interface. Uh, that will be followed by three hours worth of leak checks by the two Russian cosmonauts on board, on board Oleg Artemyev and Sergei Prokopiev, before the hatches are open to the Progress 70 cargo craft late this evening. BPS initial confirmed. BPS initial. LEDs confirmed. We copy all. Standing by in the Zvezda service module at a uh, robotic workstation are the two cosmonauts, Artemyev and Prokopiev. They uh, would be ready uh, to take over manual control of the flying of the uh, Soyuz under what is called the TORU system, or the telerobotically operated rendezvous system, in the unlikely event that the CORE's automated rendezvous system would encounter a problem at this point. However, the CORE's has been rock solid in providing navigational data to the Progress's onboard computers, which is honing in for its docking a short time from now some 30 minutes from now to the pier's docking compartment. Down. All LEDs are on. Yacht to the right. All LEDs confirmed. Yacht to the left. Confirm all LEDs are on. RHC test complete, no issues to report. Copy. Please perform translational hand controller tests at this time. THC going up. All LEDs are on. And this view now from uh, trust cameras on the International Space Station showing the progress vehicle. Rather remarkable that uh, just three hours and 18 minutes ago it was on the launch pad at the Baikonur Cosmodrome, and now, just two orbits later, it's closing in uh, for the completion of an expedited journey to deliver almost three tons of food, fuel, and supplies for the Expedition 56 crew.
Back uh, to this view from uh, the Progress itself, looking at the International Space Station, now just 560 meters or so away from its destination, closing at a rate of less than two meters per second. We should uh, be moving into the point uh, called the fly-around uh, portion of this uh, like rendezvous operation. About two minutes or so from now, the fly-around uh, We'll start at a range of about 400 meters, a 110 degree angle, to precisely align the forward docking probe on the progress with the pier's docking compartment. Oleg, uh, was there any concern? Why did you ask if we wanted to repeat the test? No, I just wanted to make sure that uh, I was able to fit the test in a lot of time. And I didn't have any concerns. I just wanted to see if you had any. No, we're all good. Continue on. Very good. The International Space Station and uh, the Progress 70 cargo craft are currently flying 260 uh, statute miles over northwestern China flying from northwest to southeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. This has been uh, a textbook approach so far by the Progress craft since its launch just about three hours and 20 minutes ago from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Selecting best picture. Again, this view now of the Progress as it uh, slowly but surely makes its way uh, from uh, beneath the station so toward the pier's docking compartment where it is expected uh, to link up uh, less than a half an hour from now. Disabling operational mode. Uh, the, um, and uh, the visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control reports that the fly around is now underway. You'll see uh, in this view, in this external crosshair engineering camera, the uh, motion, uh, the relative motion between the progress and uh, the International Space Station that will ultimately result in an alignment of the forward docking probe with the Piers docking compartment. Piers was launched uh, back in September of 2001 to serve both as a docking port for Russian vehicles as well as an airlock for Russian spacewalks. I'll go ahead and continue. Uh, fixing the video image if necessary, uh, but uh, report to us. To us, uh, any change in uh, enable disable operation mode. Copy. Right now, range is 349 uh, meters and uh, 0 0.07 meters per second. Range rate. Copy. We are in auto fly around. So uh, please continue monitoring the process. And for Sergey on space to ground one, this is a station flight control room. Please uh, confirm that the recording has been started. We are recording at this time, Tatiana. Thank you very much, Sergey. We lost the video image for a short time. Once again, uh, you're looking at uh, the view from the Progress 70 cargo craft, almost three tons of food, fuel, and supplies for the half dozen residents of the International Space Station, now just 278 meters away from its uh, Piers docking compartment uh, docking port. The International Space Station closing in on the 20th anniversary of its first element launch, the Zarya module, back on November 20th, 1998. We have a good quality image. Another image dropout.
250 meters on the laptop, uh, 0 decimal, 3 meters per second range rate. Copy. And an outstanding view uh, of the progress honing in on uh, its final destination at the pier's docking compartment. It's in the process of completing uh, the fly around, uh, moving into a position of station keeping for just a few moments to allow Russian flight controllers to assess uh, the relative alignment of the forward docking probe on this uh, resupply craft to the pier's docking compartment. The uh, station keeping will occur at a range of about 195 meters or 639 feet away from piers. Both craft flying over uh, southeastern China. Two hundred and thirty meters on laptop, uh, zero range rate. We copy. The uh, Progress uh, is in the process of putting the brakes on uh, for its short period of station keeping. Some uh, 200 meters away, closing at a rate of just over one tenth of a meter per second over southeastern China, about to cross the, the coast of China on a uh, trajectory that will take it just uh, to the north of the Philippine Islands. 250 meters range. Copy. Flight controllers at uh, the Russian Mission Control Center indicating uh, that the progress has about uh, 30 degrees of fly around remaining before it moves into its station keeping period. This view from uh, the progress uh, as it uh, completes its fly around. Uh, the uh, vehicle that you see in the upper left hand corner is the 69 progress that is uh, docked uh, to the aft port of the Zvezda service module. Fly around. And uh, final approach. And you can see almost in the crosshairs now the docking port on the pier's docking compartment. Data match course data? Yes, it does. About 200 meters right now. Copy. And the visiting vehicle officer now reports uh, that we are in station keeping, so the progress has completed its fly around and is stationary uh, for. All right, Oleg, we have received a go to set final approach flag on the progress independently. Uh, so go ahead and select BPS initial from uh, format 44, copy, BPS initial operation and selecting 
format or display 44. Display 44. Final approach on station and final approach on progress are set. Depots are on. Copy. Depots are firing. Disable. And a breathtaking view of the progress, uh, almost against the limb of the earth as it flies 260 miles over uh, the Philippines. Final approach initiated. Everything in good shape so far. And you are getting the video image from Vaco. 168 meters separating progress and the pier's docking compartment. Oleg, can you hear me? Yes, Mr. Slavyev, uh, good evening. Good early morning. Very good. Um, I just wanted to do a calm check with you, making sure that uh, you can hear me. Copy. We have you very loud and very clear. Through the uh, translator, uh, the chief flight director for the Russian flight control team, Vladimir Soloviev, uh, offering uh, good early morning greetings uh, to his two Russian cosmonauts on board the station, uh, Oleg Artemyev and Sergei Prokopiev, who are monitoring uh, the final approach of progress for its link up, now just 125 meters separating progress and the pier's docking compartment. That's uh, expected. Two and a half squares on the overlay. An almost a surrealistic view of the progress uh, flying over the Philippines, moving from northwest to southeast through one of the new uh, enhanced high-definition cameras on the outside of the International Space Station. The progress less than 100 meters away from the pier's docking compartment. About 70 uh, meters, uh, 77 meters on VKU, on the laptop, 90 meters uh, range. And it's not going down on the laptop, so there is a difference in laptop and VKU data. But uh, the range rate data match. On the laptop, at zero decimal thirty-two meters per second. Copy. With just uh, sixty-seven meters separating the progress uh, from the pier's docking compartment, uh, once again, a fabulous view of the uh, unpiloted uh, resupply craft, which launched just three and a half hours ago from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, in the final moments of uh, a never-before-accomplished two-orbit rendezvous to the International Space Station. Operation uh, mode enabled, and then uh, we'll arm a command up to retreat along the plus X axis. Copy. Fifty meters per overlay, which matches course data. Laptop shows sixty-nine uh, meters, so it's uh, about twenty meter difference. Copy. Forty-eight meters separating uh, the two craft. Progress closing at a rate of about 1.5 meters per second. Docking interface, and that's 
matches the course data. Copy. An outstanding view of the progress uh, closing in for its docking. You can see on the right-hand portion of your screen one of the uh, Ultraflex solar arrays on the Northrop Grumman Cygnus cargo craft, which tomorrow, all things uh, being equal, will be used uh, to reboost the station in a test objective with a 60-second burn of the Cygnus's Delta Velocity engine at 3.25 p.m. Central Time on Tuesday to uh, test uh, the reboost capability of that uh, particular cargo craft that is uh, bolted uh, to the Earth-facing port of the Unity module of the International Space Station. Getting close to 30 meters. Thirty-four meters now separating uh, progress in the International Space Station. Course is a little behind, um, but based on the overlay assessment, we're at 30 meters now. Copy. You can see the diamond-shaped uh, docking target right yeah. underneath the docking overlay port of the pier's docking compartment itself. It uh, will uh, come into perfect alignment with the crosshairs on this uh, television view, thanks to the Corps' automated rendezvous system. Operation confirmed and retreat along the plus X axis enabled. Stop and concur, and that's complete. Let's go to page 24, and we'll stand by for range of 15 meters copy and the two middle uh, LEDs uh, remain on copy and this is a view from the uh, high definition external viewer camera showing the progress closing in for its uh, link up to the pier's docking compartment, just 24 meters separating progress from its destination. The uh, progress in the International Space Station now crossing uh, the west coast of New Guinea, about uh, to uh, move across uh, the northeastern coast of Australia. Please do not disable operational mode after you're finished um, changing AGC modes. Copy, and I remember. Thank you for the reminder, though. So, Oleg, does it look okay? Looks perfect. So far, so good. Yeah, the range is pretty close. So, let's just leave AGC mode where it is. Yeah, we're not uh, messing with it anymore. Uh, we're getting good, stable image. Cross areas are aligned. Everything looks good. And we see the crosshairs aligned as well, and uh, very good visibility of the docking targets. Two squares on the overlay. Uh, that's how much the uh, docking interface is now taking up. It's just a little bit of a mismatch. Copy. Zero decimal eleven on the laptop for range. For range rate. Ten kilometers now separating progress from the pier's docking compartment, closing at uh, the proper rate of one tenth of a meter per second. We're within the cone. Closer than three meters at this time. 
принял. Папи. Four meters. Standing by for contact and capture. Copy, standing by for contact, contact and capture confirmed. Contact confirmed, capture confirmed. Copy, contact and capture. Docking confirmed at 8.31 p.m. Central Time, 9.31 p.m. Eastern Time, as progress in the International Space Station flew 260 miles over the northern coast of Australia. A fast track to orbit rendezvous for progress setting another milestone in International Space Station history. Oleg, you can uh, put your ear to it and uh, see if you can hear whether it's buzzing or not. Okay, sir. You understand that you need to be in, in the DC-1 for that. Uh, absolutely, Mr. Uh, Soloviev. Sergey is already on his way. Once again, uh, docking occurring over northern Australia after a textbook rendezvous of two orbits from the launch pad at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Docking occurring at 8.31 p.m. Central, 9.31 p.m. Eastern Time. The relative motion between the Progress and the International Space Station now dampening out to uh, set the stage for the retraction of the docking probe and the closing of the Progress hooks to form a hard mate. Yeah, you're coming kind of low. Yes, sir, absolutely. Absolutely, Mr. Vinogradov. Top of the evening to you. This is Mr. Rogozin. Yes, so good to hear you, sir. Good to hear your voices, guys. Congratulations. Yeah, I wanted to say congratulations. I think it finally worked out for us. We did it with the uh, two-orbit approach and rendezvous. This is uh, pretty quick that we got these cargo items to you, and uh, this is very promising in support of uh, you know our upcoming plans, both for uh, you know the current programs and the programs of the future. So this is definitely a giant step forward, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, we've been waiting for this milestone for a long time, and hopefully this will become uh, the rule of thumb from here on out. Oleg, I just wanted to say that I that I made good on my promises for cameras and everything else. So hopefully all the stuff that we uh, put on this progress for you will come in handy and... Uh, will be useful as far as providing extra footage of you uh, re-entering and landing, as we talked about uh, just several days ago. Sure. Thank you so very much. That's so nice and so good to hear and so good to know. Yeah, on behalf of all of our teams, congratulations. And feel free to give me a call anytime you need anything, okay, guys? Thank you. Likewise, congratulations are in order for everyone, everybody who's there with you and everybody who made this happen today. This is definitely a remarkable milestone, and congratulations. Thank you so much. It's a good day for all of us. Cheers. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. The uh, chief Russian flight director, Vladimir Soloviev, uh, speaking to Oleg Artemyev and uh, Sergei Prokopiev. Uh, the two Russian cosmonauts on board the International Space Station congratulating them and uh, the two cosmonauts congratulating uh, Soloviev in turn for this milestone achievement of a two-orbit rendezvous that Soloviev said would uh, pave the way for um, uh, expedited delivery of cargo and crew members in the future, not only for the station but for future programs. A great view of the progress as it flies uh, directly over Brisbane, Australia. Again, docking occurring at uh, 8.31 p.m. Central, 9.31 p.m. Eastern Time, less than four hours after uh, the progress was launched on its Soyuz booster from the Baikonur Cosmodrome.
Байконур. Moscow Station, space to ground one. Go ahead. Were you asking something or saying something? Yeah, that was Baikonur calling us. Uh, nothing to do with you or us. Any action on our behalf? And uh, the visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control, Tom Erkenswick, now confirms that the progress hooks are closed, forming a hard mate uh, between the progress and the pier's docking compartment. This uh, will set the stage now for uh, a few hours of leak checks by the cosmonauts on their side of the docking interface before the uh, hatch to the Progress resupply craft is scheduled to be open just after 11 p.m. Central Time in the wee hours of Tuesday morning Eastern Time. Oleg, that 705 call, that was uh, Moscow decree type. Yes, we understand who this is coming from and what time that's in. And plus, we've got everything on paper. Three different timestamps. Um, ready to shut down video streaming on your go. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, you're looking at the newly arrived Progress uh, 70 cargo ship, which uh, made an expedited uh, delivery run uh, from its launch pad of the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan to a textbook and flawless docking to the pier's docking compartment just a few minutes ago at 8.31 p.m. Central Time, 9.31 p.m. Eastern Time culminating a uh, two-orbit rendezvous for the first time in International Space Station history, a milestone achievement uh, that was hailed by the Chief Russian Flight Director Vladimir Soloviev, as well as Space Station program officials, this coming on the third attempt to accomplish this feat, following two lo uh, previous launch postponements that uh, scuttled uh, this particular effort to reach the station in this uh, short amount of time. So with the progress safely linked up now to the pier's docking compartment, uh, the Russian cosmonauts on board the station will uh, conduct leak checks to make sure that uh, we have an airtight seal at the docking interface before they open the progress hatch and begin to unload uh, the first uh, of 2.8 tons of cargo delivered for the Expedition 56 crew on board the International Space Station. As uh, the station in progress uh, travel from northwest to southeast approaching New Zealand, we will uh, wrap up our broadcast. Uh, we thank you for joining us throughout the course of the afternoon and the evening. Once again, Progress 70, safely pulling into port at the pier's docking compartment to wrap up an historic two-orbit rendezvous. This is Mission Control Houston.